are live. Good morning, everyone. Good Sunday morning and happy ninth day of Hanukkah to our Jewish friends. And the, the, with, they're celebrating their light, their days of light. Um, yeah, I'm wearing my ugly sweater, Christmas sweater, because it's December and it's snowing and I felt like boring one of my children's clothes. Um, we are very happy to see you here today. Um, we are very excited to have our guest with us. Like we, we've been global this uh, year uh, and this this month. Uh, somebody from Japan. Now we have Eduan from West Africa, from the country of Angola. She's here today. She's a, a little bit nervous, but you know, she doesn't need to be because we're all among friends here. Um, I'm here also Family. with my friend, our co-host, uh, Teresa Warren and Bex Marie. We just realized the other day, we only know each other from the chest up. We have never met in person. <laughs> and we only know everybody from here up. So that's why you guys, I think Bex has a, has a, a, a mermaid tail in real life. Yes. And I think Teresa has a, a dragon's tail yeah. and Bex has legs. I do. Legs. So, um, <laughs> Just my thought. <laughs> Teresa before Edwin. <laughs> what the heck are you guys talking about? But we only know Edwin from here, but her light is so bright that when we met her the other day, we could just, we were all just, just glowing in the bask of her, her wonderful light. So we hope you'll join us. Um, she's going to share one of her energetic drawings with us. Whoever yes. shares this out the most today will win two of her drawings. So please. Points. Two winners this week. So please, and are you customizing them for them, Edwin? Are you going to yeah. do a? It's customized. One for each of our winners. Awesome. Yeah. One for each of them. So yeah. one for each of them. So please share this out, and uh, it's an excellent, um, an excellent incentive for you to share it out. That, that beyond the fact that we just, you know, share the light, everyone. So Teresa, without further ado. Would you please uh, introduce our special guest today? Yes, I am so excited to have Ed Joanne Liette here. She, she is amazing. I met her through Amanda Marie Masters, who held her in such high esteem. So I knew when I met her what a special person, because Amanda Marie told me how special you were. And I was ready to embrace all that when I met you. And so, um, um, Ed Joanne is an intuitive artist, and as she's been awakening, she's been sharing her Good gifts morning, with other people everyone. to help them connect with their divinity and to embrace themselves with love and the all-important acceptance. That's what we all need now. And through her amazing artwork, she brings forth frequencies that will help support individuals on their path. So when you look at her artwork, you can feel how inspiring it is. You can feel codes and, and blueprints within you opening up, and, and this is what she does. And so whoever wins today, woohoo, you know, because you're going to get this amazing activation through her artwork. And um, what excited me is lately, she's started her own YouTube channel called Young Spirituality, where she is sharing with so many other youths who may be going through awakening, but not understanding what it is and feeling separate from everyone around them because not everyone's awakening. And so Ed Joanne has stepped out of her comfort zone. She's put herself out there and she's helping the youths out there. And I thought that was such a beautiful thing. And so Ed Joanne, oh, I'd like to welcome you to Spirit Sessions of View of the Light. Yeah. Hey. Thank you so much for having me here. Such a pleasure. I'm really excited. A little bit nervous still, but really excited. <laughs> <laughs> and so what is this about the self-acceptance? Why is it so important? And um, how is it that you're showing us how to em embrace our authentic selves here? Well, I will start that self-acceptance is so important. It is a form of self-love. I mean, if you're out there 
you gotta give yourself some love too, right? We are so accustomed to give other people love, but we don't give that to ourselves. And that can actually create a sense of separation or of feeling judgment or criticism towards self and others because that reflects back to others. So being self-acceptance, it's actually really important if you want to be authentic. If you want to be authentic towards yourself and towards others, you have to start by being self-accepting and self-loving. You have to start by acknowledging who you are right now and who, what are you experiencing, your feelings, your emotions, your thoughts, and know that it's okay, that it's okay because we are all having a human experience, right? So we sometimes get really um, judgmental about what we are experiencing in the now moment, but that is okay. What I'm here to tell is that it is okay to experience our emotions, our thoughts, our feelings, you know, the experiences we're going through, especially when we are awakening. It is so important to be self-loving, so important to be self-accepting, self-accepting, and being present with yourself, being present with your emotions so that you can experience them from the point of view of the observer, not as the one who is experiencing that and is judging the experience. So be self-accepting. Start today. If you have not started, start today. Start embracing who you are because I guarantee you that you are a most beautiful being. You are here for a purpose. You are here to enjoy life on the earth. As a human being, as the divine being, you also are. Being human is no less than being divine because human beings are divine in their nature. We come from the divine source. We are a fractal of that energy. So start embracing yourself. And that is so important when you are awakening and you're, open up, you're opening up your gifts. For people who want to really open up their gifts, I think that being self-loving and self-acceptance is so important because that will give you the confidence, that will give you the willingness and the openness to experience what your gifts in many ways without judging it. And even if you're judging it, you can still get out of that place, right? Because that's all about... Um, about it like the energetic shift we get to shift out of that place by being willing to experience ourselves as the way beings that we are so i nudge you i am telling you just start loving yourself today and don't do it like for example just because you want to open up your gifts but because you are a person who's having a human experience or even if you are any other being in the universe that is so important that you are self-accepting, that you are embracing your experience because your soul chose to come here or chose to be in any place in the universe to experience the joy of being a creator, of being just a being, of embracing creation, of embracing all that is created, you know, because you are the creator, you are the creation, and you are the creation process. You are all of this, and all of this is so open to you for you to experience, for you to encompass, for you to feel that it is already already within you. This is already part of you. So start being self-accepting. Embrace who you are today and right here. Don't just, I, I know that when we are awakening, we learn so many stuff, right? And then we like, okay, I would like to be this. I would like to be that. I would like to be that yes. minus what we are right now because we're already judging that that what we are is bad that what we are is not right that we have to be ashamed of what we are that we have to be guilty or feeling any lower vibrational energies of what we are right now so what i'm giving you right now is an invitation for you to feel and experience who you are right now and to start accepting that because when you start accepting that, you can more easily shift into a higher dimensional reality. You can shift your perception. You can start embracing who you are. Because I tell you that nothing is less than perfect. We are taught that it is, that there is imperfect, but there isn't really. This is just a perspective. 
but if you get inward, if you go into your core, into the core of your soul, in your heart of heart, you will see that all is perfect. Because if all is divine, how can all not be perfect? All is perfect. You were perfect. You were magnificent. So start enjoying yourselves. Start accepting and embracing your human experience. Start loving yourself as a human being, knowing that you are divine in your nature and that you were loved and supported by so many beings out there that are here just to share their love to help you in your journey, to start embracing that, start embracing yourself, start being authentic to yourself, start being true to yourself, no longer hide yourself, no longer shame yourself, just embrace who you are right now. That is one of the greatest gifts you can give yourself by being loving towards yourself unconditionally. To start accepting yourself unconditionally and then to start forgiving yourself for thinking that you were less than perfect, that you were less than divine, you know? So get into your heart space. Embrace the beauty that is within you. Embrace all that you have to give. Embrace all that you have to receive. Be you authentically and start by accepting your human experience in the now. Be present with yourself, be present with your body, be present with your mind, be present with your soul. Embrace yourselves. Oh, wow. Beautiful. People are so excited. Lots of hearts and love. Thank you. Like, can you guys believe this? This person is only 19 years old. You have such an old wisdom soul. And I don't know, I'm pretty sure you were channeling right there. <laughs> from, <laughs> From further sources, because it just like reminds me of that's where she was. Just wonderful. <clears throat> Lisa Engel says, Love talking about heart space. And Sue, uh, Sue, uh, Patty, uh, just beautiful. Yes, we are uh, worthy of loving ourselves and holding high esteem for self. That says Marie um, Sutcliffe. And Sherry said, Beautiful message. Uh, Christine McDowell Hayden says, oh my God, I could listen to you all day. And uh, <laughs> yes. Amanda is watching and Deborah is watching and Monica is here. Aww. And lots of people are on the call. Christy is here. Hi, Christy. And Nancy Louise, Nancy Louise is here from the snowy mountains of North Carolina. So mm -hmm. just awesome. Uh, I, very inspiring. I, I don't know about you, but I feel like. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about expanding oh, the field. Wow. Wow. And she's so, so right. When we love ourselves, we are loving the divinity within us. When we feel separate and judge ourselves, that separates us from the divinity. And it's really impossible to separate ourselves because the love is there. So it's only our thoughts, you see. And so that's why it's so good to listen to what she's saying because we don't want to let our thoughts give us the illusion that we're separate from our source because we're not. It's all right uh, here around us. Yeah. And I had um, an experience. Amanda Bree says that Edwin is a master to help us all. <laughs> help all of us. Thank She's you. She is. Yeah. She yeah. is. And I had an experience. I saw an angel come up to you and was hugging you with great enthusiasm while you were speaking to us. So Aww. they're all around you as you're teaching all of us <laughs> right now. So it's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. That's really beautiful. <laughs> That's thank you for sharing that, Teresa. Like, I feel like we we learn so many things that um, you know society tells us um, the things that are right and that are wrong, and we're just so accustomed to that. Then when we get, we come to shift our thoughts, it gets hard, right? So. I, I believe that by being self-accepting, by being self-loving and self-forgiven, because you need to forgive yourself for believing all those things that you didn't even know that were real or were not, that were true or not, but you just believed because everyone did and you didn't know what to do. So by being self-accepting, you allow yourself to experience who you are right now. For example, I'm having a bad day, let's say, or I'm really emotional. 
So why would you decide that being emotional is bad, right? So why don't you instead step into that emotion, step into that space of present within you and experience your emotions? That is the easiest way to get them to flow through. If you resist, they persist. So just flow with them. Allow them to flow through your being. Allow your thoughts to flow through your being and let them go. If they don't serve your highest purpose, let them go. Don't get stuck on them by judging them, feeling guilty, feeling shame, you know, just let them go. This is one thing that I've been learning so much because I have so much trouble with the thoughts that come into my mind because I am always thinking, like I'm just constantly thinking about everything. And then when a thought that comes into my mind that I believe is not really good, I'm like, okay, I don't really like the frequency of this thought right now in my mind. And I start feeling guilty about it instead of just being present with the thought and letting that go. So I've been learning just to allow the thought to flow through my mind and let, the, let it go instead of getting stuck in it and judging it and say, oh no, this is bad. This is a bad thought in my mind. And then I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm bad because I'm having a bad thought. You see how it goes, it all reflects to the self. You're like, this is a bad thought. I am bad because I'm having a bad thought and everything just keep looping and looping and looping. Instead, what I advise you, it's just to let it go through your mind. If you have to ask help for the angels or the masters, I hope I, I believe they will be just all, all over you to help you with that. That's what I do. Like if I have one really stucky thought in my mind and I don't want to have it, I just ask the angels to help me shift it. And then you can choose another thought because you are a master. You are the shifter, you are the creator, you choose the thoughts, you can choose the thoughts you can have in your mind, and you can let those that no longer serve you, so this is you, embracing yourself as who you are right now, and also being a creator, because we're creators, but most of the time you're unconsciously creating, and then when the things that we're creating appear in our reality, we're shocked, we get angry, we get all over it, and instead, we don't know that we are the creators and that we can choose to create it consciously. We can choose what we're going to experience in our life, what we want to experience. Of course, you're not going to have control over everything because you cannot control everything. That is in your business. So your business is you, your mind, your body, your soul, but else the, the other things in the world, they're not your business. So, be, I'm gonna, uh, think, okay? Yeah, that's be, awesome. Be, and I was just thinking of your, your uh -huh. creation. I wanted to put on your picture so you could show everybody and sort of explain your process. Um, okay, I'm going to put that up. Because I, I think that's, I'm, I'm really hoping, I'm really hoping we can do it. Oh, that's not right. Mm -hmm. Uh, yes, I've been a fan yeah. of your artwork for so long. Me too. <laughs> Just one second. You better stop sharing that. And I'll do it again. All right. Let's okay. do that. Okay. Let's let's share this. So, Ed Joanne, can you tell the audience a little bit about what it is that you do when you do these intuitive drawings? There. Okay. Yeah. Everybody can see so, it. Yes. Okay. Okay. So when I, I I sit down to draw, right, I will simply allow spirit to guide me in drawing whatever will most support you right now in your path, whether is it healing or, you know, whatever will provide you healing and will activate you into your higher purpose. That's what I do. I am kind of like just a vessel. I just allow the energies to flow through my being and I will get impressions of what wants to come true, for example, whether it's a bird or whether it's a house or water, the elements. I work a lot with the elements or if it's Mother Earth or a place, a sacred place that you might be connected to because when I'm sitting there and I'm allowing spirit to come true, sometimes I can 
tap into one of your lives or one of your parallel lives and I would just bring through whatever will most support you right now in shifting and aligning more with your soul. And of course, the drawings will always have your essence because when I'm drawing, your higher self and your team of guides and angels, they're kind of also around me and they're kind of guiding me here and there and then they will tell me draw this or draw that sometimes and I would just do that and then with the gift of frequencies that I have, the frequencies that will most support you will be infused in the drawing. So whenever you receive the drawing, that will naturally activate within you whatever needs to be activated and will be a healing drawing too because it has healing energy. So it will help you heal whatever needs to be healed right now and what can be healed through the drawing. So that is mostly what I do. <laughs> And I've had wow. some books by you, and it was amazing. Yeah. Amazing, yeah. Can you explain yes. this one to our, our our group? I'm looking at it. I'm seeing so much in it, but can you explain what you, I love it. you did this for the group, for the, <laughs> the audience yeah. today? Yeah. I know you so, spent four hours on it today. So yeah, I did. <laughs> so for this one, um, we were talking about what I was going to draw, right? And the first impression that I had was a rainbow dragon, which is what I draw here the rainbow dragon, and then throughout the week, I would get impressions of what I was going to draw, but I never know exactly what's going to come out. So here I have a, a rainbow dragon, and we, here we have a sun with the infinity symbol in it and kind of like an atom structure around it. And then we have the rainbow fire, and here we have a hard connect a heart connecting to the mind and you know the joining of like the right um the right and left sides of the brain and kind of just like allowing interconnection between them and them to work together and here we have um i had the impression of seeing mother earth just kind of like holding hands like this so that's what i drew and here you can see the elements water fire earth and air and then some beautiful flowers wanted to come true so i drew them here around and then we draw the i draw the butterfly which i feel like it symbolizes transformation so that's what i drew here very beautiful wow. very beautiful yes, yes. Uh, yes. frequency all of its so did you get any intuitive channel, like any messages for the group about this, what this might mean? Well, I did channel a message that came with the drawing. So I asked um, the best and highest most loving guides to come true. And I had with me St. Germain and Archangel yeah. Haniel. Archangel oh. Haniel has been, has been with me um, the past one day. <laughs> she has been with me since yesterday. Um, so I was talking to her in the middle of the night. So then today, when I, w I finished doing the drawing, she wanted to come true. So I said, okay, come true in St. Germain. And their message was that, okay, I'm going to read it because I wrote it. I did a, okay. uh, some automatic writing. So their message was that, dear ones, indeed, we, St. Germain and Haniel, are present with you at this time in your earthly experience. Please take time to connect with your sacred I am presence and allow yourselves to be present, to be in the now. Allow yourselves to be present with yourselves. Be aware of your body, mind, and spirit. Be aware of the ongoing emotions and feelings that flow through your being. Only through presence can you be fully aware of what you truly need and what needs to be shifted. Not from a place of judgment, rather from a place of self-love and self-compassion. Be present to witness your creations. You are creators on that. Live the lives that you desire to live. Listen to your heart, for they tell you what needs to be done next. Bless your mind with higher vibrational thoughts. 
Allow your hearts and mind to be one in the infinite love of all. You are beautiful and magnificent in all your splendor and glory. We are a reflection of your own being and soul. Bask in the infinite love of oneness and let love heal you. We thank you, dear ones. We thank you. That was the message. That was oh, beautiful. Wow. Thank you. I, I love it. Archangel Hanny Hill was with you at the beginning, too, when you were telling us all about being authentic. Oh, yeah. Such an alignment thank with that. Thank you. Absolutely thank powerful. You. We'd love to see you again on our show yes. and have you again. And all of uh, uh, Edgeland's contacts, her groups, and her mm -hmm. web page, and how you can get a contact is in the comments that are attached and I'll also put them in the comments below so you can <clears throat> you can uh, like her and go to her page and join her groups <laughs> yes and, and, and yes. see her YouTube like channel her and yes. yeah yes. So, okay Bex yes. did you want to give us our announcements Bex, we'll try Bex has a cold right off. now so Bex is a little loopy <laughs> bear with me all right <laughs> so for last week's sharing it out um, the winner of that, which was amazingly Amanda Marie Masters, you won a one card reading and personal meditation with Teresa Warren. So congratulations. Yay. It's it's an awesome experience, which of course I'm sure you'll, oh, it's going to be amazing. I can't wait to just, oh, I don't know. I'm, I'm good guys. Hold on. <laughs> I'm good. Okay. So the winner of this week, if you share it out, you will get, there's two that we're sharing out. So the two people that share out the most will win an intuitive drawing um, done by Ed Joanne, which includes a message. And so we'll give her your contact information and she'll be able to reach out to you. And it, like I said, it's absolutely such a powerful experience. I've had, I think, two done by her and she's just getting better and better all the time. And the messages are so perfect for what you're experiencing at that time and what you need to hear. So I definitely recommend for anybody who would just like to go and, you know, get one from her, um, check her out, see what she does. and. Uh, have a conversation with her. She's just amazing. Uh, the information yes. that she brings through. Oh, I mean, to, to be able to be in her presence right now is just such a blessing. So um, after this, at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific, is Nourishing Your Multidimensional Body with Kathy Holmeyer. Uh, the Cosmic Ascension Report is today at 8 p.m. Uh, Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific with Janelle Cameron. There's the Akashic Magazine, which is free. The link is on the Akashic Academy uh, website, which is www.theakashicacademy.com. Um, Akashic subscription is $44.44 for the inside group. That's a month, $44.44. Uh, you get the uh, full moon and new moon ceremonies. I remember this time, Teresa. You get the intuitive classes with Emily Harrison. <laughs> you also get the Mindful Mondays with Nick, Coach Nick, and that's definitely an amazing experience. Plus, you get the yes. Soul Family you know, the connection, the support, um, growing and expanding with an amazing group of people. And then there is also our little soul, uh, wow, spirit sessions project that we're working on right now, which is a soul spa, a journey within, and we're taking you to Avalon. We are doing this amazing mm. event on Saturday, December 15th at 7 p.m. We have tickets available. Um, and we're doing a, sp a sale right now, which is buy one, get a second one half off so you can bring a friend. And we're going to take you through a journey of flying on dragons, getting to meet Merlin, mm -hmm. getting a channeled message from um, the Lady of the Lake and getting some powerful healing. Uh, it's a completely immersive meditative experience that if you haven't checked it out, at least come over on our page, Spirit Sessions, A View of the Light replay and resource page. Um, and check out what we have. And also, we'll be there live at 1.30 today, right? 1.30 Eastern. We'll be live pulling cards. So come hang out with us. They're free. And, uh, you know, we'll just be talking about the Soul Spa and hanging out with everybody. Is that about right? Did I get it That's awesome. You do that <laughs> yes, so well. I love even that. Even on day quill. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah, even on, <laughs> even on day quill. <laughs> so, right. to end. Um, it's it's evening there, and um, I'm sure you're ready to go for your talk soon. And thank you so much for joining us. <laughs> yes, thank and, you. Uh, thank and, you so thank much you. for inviting me. Well, Same here. I loved it. Thank you so much. I think you have a lot more fans now. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> yeah.
keep in touch with us. Yeah, right more here. people and need we'll to know for your, sure. We'll post that art in the comments too. I'm going to post yeah. it down in the comments mm -hmm. so everybody can awesome. download it awesome. and get, a, get it. So, and we'll post it on our page. Yeah. We'll post it on our page and then you can go to our page and download it. That's great. So right. Yes. Yeah. And awesome. You can go and download it there. So okay, like we'll the, it out. Yeah. Yeah. Me and then flip over and like our page too because we love you all. Yeah. Thank you so much. Blessings. Yes, and our YouTube. Yes. Thank you. Namaste. Okay. Goodbye, everyone. Have a good Have a week. Night.